It's the coaster battle that you have all been waiting for. The two coasters that opened in 2018 at Alton Towers and Blackpool Pleasure Beach respectively. It is Wicker Man versus Icon. Well hello there, you're watching the official theme park fans YouTube channel and welcome back to another video. So as you can see by the video title, it is the fifth coaster battle and it is going to be between Wicker Man and Icon. So um, before I start um, this coaster battle video, if you did miss the fourth coaster battle video which was um, between Nemesis and the Smiler I think it was, then what I am going to do, I'm going to show you some Donahue magic. So any moment now. Any moment now, it's going. Um, the fourth coaster battle video is going to appear in the um, top right hand corner, which is my top left hand corner. After, on the count of five, five, four, three, two, one, magic. Ooh. Yeah. So um, if you haven't seen it, then um, you can go check that one out. So. Wicker Man vs Icon. This is a very, this is going to be a very interesting coaster, ba um, co coaster battle. <laughs> this is going to be a very interesting coaster battle, isn't it? Um, between the two coasters that opened um, in 2018, at Alton Towers and Blackpool Pleasure Beach, respectively. And yeah, let's get started, shall we? So as always, I am going to be using the ride theming, and the ride experience, and the whole experience to determine which will be. The winner. So, we're going to start off with Ride Theming as we always do, and we're going to start off with uh, Wicker Man. And once again, I will be reading my notes that I've um, written down on my iPad, so I do apologise if I don't look up um, at the camera, it's because I'm reading my notes, so please do bear that in mind. Wicker Man's theming is undoubtedly regarded as one of the best in the UK. From the Wicker Man sculpture right through to the ride station, you really can't say that Wicker Man's theming is bad. I absolutely love the ritual theming around Wicker Man. It gives the ride that eerie and mystique feeling about it that no other ride in the UK has, in my opinion. Sure, many people don't think Wicker Man is an amazing ride, but many people do think that Wicker Man's theming is right up there with the best and that's, that's what makes the ride special. Yeah, I mean, Wicker Man's theme in it, I think it's very good. It's very well detailed, and I just love that, you know, ritual feel about it. And it's just great, the theme for Wicker Man. I absolutely love it. Now, moving on to Icon. As for Icon's theme in, well, let's just say that it looks a little bit better. I struggle to find any theme in for Icon around the rides area and the ride queue line. Saying that, however, I do like... I do like uh, I do like Icon's ride station as an, as it is somewhat themed and I do like how loud the ride soundtrack is blasted out in the ride station. I really do think the theming for Icon could be improved in the queue line and the ride area. So, which is the ride theming winner? Wicker Man. No brainer, Wicker Man hands down. Now we're going to be moving on to the ride experience. Starting off with Wicker Man once again. I found the ride experience from Wicker Man very interesting and a bit fast in some places too. When you view Wicker Man from an off-ride perspective, the ride does look slow. However, when you experience a ride, it really is fast. Sure, Wicker Man may not be as good as some of the coasters I have been on across Europe, but saying that, I think it packs a punch, combined with the Wicker Man's flame and mist effects as you pass through the Wicker Man sculpture three times. Overall, I think the ride experience from Wicker Man is very good. Yeah, I mean, the ride experience from Wicker Man, as I said there, it is very good in my opinion. Um, obviously, not as good as some of the coasters I've been on across Europe, you know, such as Tavern, Voden, Blue Fire, but I really love Wicker Man. I absolutely love it. Moving on to Icon. I remember when Icon and Wicker Man were being built when they were under the names of Construction 2018 and SWA respectively. 
I always thought Icon was going to be the better ride experience out of the two coasters. But after I came off Icon for the first time, I just felt a little disappointed about the ride experience. Sure, I liked the first and second launch, but other than that, it really disappointed me. It's frustrating, it's frustrating because I really want to love Icon. I really do. But I just think the ride experience on Icon doesn't do enough for me. So which is the ride experience winner? Wicker Man. Again, this has to go to Wicker Man. Sorry, I come. Now, for the whole experience itself, and again, starting off with Wicker Man. I absolutely love the whole experience for Wicker Man. From entering the queue line to coming off the ride, it still amazes me every time. I feel like every ride I take on Wicker Man feels different each time, but different in a good way and not a bad way. I really hope that Wicker Man is here to stay for many years to come. As I said before, it may not be everyone's favourite coaster, but what makes Wicker Man special is that the experience from start to finish is something mysterious and unique. You know, as I've said, you know, early on in this video, I, I, I just love the whole experience for Wicker Man. You know, as I said there, from when you enter the queue line, you know, going through the pre-show, the ride station, and to even coming off the ride, it feels like a, a complete... A complete experience that is very unique to this country. So I absolutely love Wicker Man for what it is. Now moving on to Icon. You'll probably find this funny guys. But to tell you the truth. I've only been on Icon twice. That's right. Just two times. And because of this. I just find it hard to explain the whole experience for Icon. What I do like about Icon is the ride station and the ride soundtrack, as I did say when I was talking about Icon's ride theming. Um, the soundtrack for Icon almost sounds very calm and it feels like you are in some sort of paradise, but at the same time, going on an, going on a, an epic adventure somewhere too. Overall, I really do want to enjoy Icon. Maybe I need a few more rides on Icon to enjoy it more. That's the thing, like... I've only done Icon twice, which is, you know, it's really weird. Because, like, the first time I went on it was when they were doing the, um, the, uh, VIP previews. You know, um, if you bought an Icon VIP boarding card, you know, um, you got to ride it before the public did. Um, and then the second time was last year for, um, I think it was the first WoW weekend of the 2019 season. And, yeah, it's crazy that I've only done Icon twice. Um, maybe I do need a few more rides on it to see, you know, what I truly think of it. But it just pains me because I really want to love Icon. But at the same time, I just... I just... I don't know. It's difficult to explain. It's really difficult to explain. So, Coaster Battle number 5 winner. It's got to be Wicked Man, hasn't it? It's got to be Wicked Man, you know. I absolutely adore Wicked Man. It definitely has to be in Wicked Man without a shadow of a doubt. Sorry, Icon, again. So, guys, that is it for the fifth coaster battle. I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to be doing my next coaster battle video. Um, you know, I'll have to um, I'll have to think of two coasters that I can compare. You know, obviously, it has to be two coasters that I've been on. So, I'm going to have to think about that. But I've definitely got other video ideas planned. So, um, yeah, that's good. That's really good. Um, so, guys, that leads me to one thing. Which out of the two do you prefer? Do you prefer Wicker Man or do you prefer Icon? Do comment below and let me know. I'd love to see um, a mixture of different opinions on this, you know, because I do think some people will say Icon and some people will say Wicker Man. So do get comments below whether you prefer Icon or Wicker Man. If you did enjoy today's video, guys, then please give it a like because it really helps the channel out. Um, if you would like to become part of the Theme Park Fans family, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single video. Don't forget to check out our Facebook page. As always, our Facebook page link is in the description below, so please go check that out and give it a like. Um, the next video will be coming out on Wednesday, so I'll see you guys on Wednesday for the next video. And just before I go, guys, I want to say um, I hope you all have a great Easter weekend. You know, um, despite the fact that we are on lockdown and um, despite the fact as well we can't go to any theme parks. <laughs> but no, I, I, I hope you all have a fantastic Easter weekend. I hope you get lots of Easter eggs. Um, and yeah, just enjoy it. Um, 
you know, stick to the rules, even though the um, even though the weather might be nice this Easter weekend. So please do um, stick to the lockdown rules, and you know, before you know it, we'll be back at the theme parks riding roller coasters very soon. We just got to stay positive about that and keep theme parks in our minds. I don't know why I'm tapping my head, but you 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 get what I mean. Keep theme parks in your heads. I'm Will Donnie. Thank you for watching Theme Park Fans. And it's time to close the video down. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.